Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the corset dress made by Pirate Fashions. Uh, Pirate Fashions is based in Tampa, Florida, but they do ship worldwide. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So obviously this is an overbust style dress, so it has a sweetheart in the center front here at the top. And if I trace my hands along the bottom edge, uh, it's actually gently rounded in the center front here. But you can't really see it because uh, the outer fabric, the fashion fabric, is it's seamlessly cut in very, very long pieces. With the stripe layer underneath, as you'll see later on in this video, you can see the division where the, the corset stops and the skirt begins. But the fashion fabric is cut, uh, each panel is cut in one one long piece so it looks very seamless from the outside. Now for the measurements of this corset, today I'm wearing the size 24, so when I measured this corset right out of the box, it indeed measured 24 inches closed waist. Uh, the full bust is 31 inches, so it has a 7 inch bust spring, and the hip here measured 33 inches, so it has a 9 inch hip spring. Now the hip ends about here on me and my iliac crest is about there so i would not say it's a long line corset i would say it's about mid hip but it does uh end over top of my pelvis here and for the length of this if i'm just talking about the corset part just the rigid part that has the bones the center front here is 14 inches uh, the princess seam from the apex of the bust down to the lap area is 15 inches the side seam here is 12 and a half inches and the center back is 13 inches. Now for the length including the skirt, right now I have the skirt pinned open, just turned back. But if I were to remove the pins, the center front would just flop closed in the front like that. And so the center front would measure 24 inches. And the style skirt is a little bit shorter in the front and it goes longer in the back. So in the center back, it's 34 inches total in length. You can see that it's a very slim silhouette, a kind of U-shaped silhouette. Uh, it's a, tr a smooth transition from the bust down to the waist and out to the hip uh, without any sort of like geometric shapes happening. If you are relatively narrow in the pelvis or you have a lot of padding over your hips, you might be able to wear this dress comfortably. Uh, but if you are very hippy and uh, you need that dramatic high square hip shelf, um, then this sort of corset might not be like the most compatible for you. So the turn back feature on the skirt here, uh, the pins came separate, so you can buy them from Pirate Fashions for $30 or you can use your own pins if you have them or old earrings if you have them. And so um, they mentioned that the turn back feature is actually inspired by military coats from the 18th century. And if you pin it back uh, with a single fold, they said that would be a more English style, whereas the pleated sort of double fold that I have here is more the French version. Uh, you can go with whatever you feel more comfortable with or whatever you aesthetically prefer. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the other details of this corset close up. Because this dress is so long, I want to get as much of it into the frame as possible. So I'm doing this in a slightly different location. But for the materials, you can see that uh, the fashion fabric that I chose was the black and blue brocade. And it has the white brocade lining on the inside. But if I open it up, you'll see that the strength fabric is actually a black cotton twill. And the white lining actually starts at the end of the corset at the bottom edge. Um, so it's really just the skirt part as well as uh, the modesty panel right here. So I'm just going to remove this pin here so you can see the pattern a little bit more clearly. And here's a close-up of the decorative pins that I took out of the skirt. So these are gorgeous. You can see that they've got these jewels here and they have them in various different colors. Uh, I believe different colors of metal and different colors of the jewel inside and it has this um, little pin back here. Uh, so these are available separately. I believe these are $30. So you can use your own pins if you have them, uh, different brooches, or you can purchase these if you want to uh, take advantage of that little like turn back style on the corset dress. So this has got a six panel pattern. Uh, panels one, two, three make the front, 
four, five, and six here make the back. For the construction, uh, they did this in an interesting way because the uh, strength layer is not full length. I can feel that it actually stops right here. There's a seam allowance uh, underneath the lining of this skirt. But uh, the brocade on the outside, it goes the entire length of the skirt. So the fashion fabric and the strength fabric were probably flat lined and treated pretty much as one layer um, and assembled at the seams with the seam allowances to the inside and uh, facing the back because I can see the top stitch right there. And then the seam allowances were covered with these boning channels. It creates a place to put the bones, but it also covers the raw edges. So it's single boned on the seams here, and the lining here is only sewn onto the strength layer. There's no stitches running all the way across through the uh, uh, fashion fabric here. Um, now there are little um, tacks at the bottom here. There are tiny little stitches just where the boning channels are to prevent the bones from falling out. So the top stitch and the boning channel end right there at the hip, and then the main seam goes all the way down to the bottom of the skirt here. So here's a zoomed out shot of how the skirt lining attaches to the corset dress. It's pretty cleverly done. And the um, skirt lining is pretty much in just two big pieces uh, on the left side and the right side. And so um, on the outside, you can see that the skirt extends down from the panel. So it's not all just one big piece. And again, I'm having a hard time getting the whole thing into the frame here, but uh, the fashion fabric is not all one piece for the skirt. Uh, they are six pieces, very long pieces that are extensions of uh, the corset pattern itself. So after the corset like comes in a little bit at the waist and flares out at the hip, it then continues to flare out even more to give you the flare of the skirt. There's also a waist tape in this corset exposed on the lining side and it is one inch wide made from satin ribbon. It is a partial waist tape extending from uh, between panels one and two to between panels five and six here and it's secured down at each boning channel. And the bias binding looks to be made from black satin ribbon, which actually looks like the same ribbon that was used as the waist tape. So this is a uh, machine stitch on both the outside and the inside. On the outside, you can see the tiniest little top stitch. And on the inside, there is a, a bigger stitch here. You can see that it is pretty flat. It doesn't need to be folded under because the edges of the ribbon are already finished and they're not going to fray. And on the bottom here, again, uh, this is where the lining is covering the raw seam allowance on the bottom edge, so it doesn't need the binding. And uh, if they had put a binding underneath here, they would have just added more bulk at the hip area and affected possibly the way that the skirt draped. And again, um, I will show you a close up of the hem of the skirt here. So it's um, the blue is folded under a little bit so that the lining does not uh, peek through if you don't have the skirt um, folded back in any way. And this is what the skirt hem looks like from the outside. The modesty panel in the back is extremely wide. It's 10 inches wide and it's finished in the same blue brocade on the outside and the white brocade lining on the inside. And another interesting thing about it is that uh, a couple of inches, about four inches below the bottom of the corset, it's also sewn onto both sides of the corset. So, um, I mean, most people would wear this with a skirt or bloomers or something, but in case you didn't have anything underneath, then the modesty panel would indeed like cover your bum. And the modesty panel is wide enough to get into and out of the corset pretty comfortably. So that's nice that you don't have to like continue to worry about like making sure that your modesty panel is like tucked in all the way down the skirt, uh, especially because the skirt isn't boned and um, structured around your legs. So you don't want it to be like flapping back and forth. And so you can see that the modesty panel really does come down to uh, the very bottom of like the hem of the skirt here. This corset also has a modesty placket in the front. This does not run down the full length of the dress, but this is uh, 12 and a half inches long and it's three inches wide. Again, unstiffened, but finished in the same blue brocade on the outside, uh, black on the inside, and uh, it prevents um, your skin or your blouse from poking through the grommets here in the front. 
Like with the other corsets from Pirate Fashions, this does not have a front busk. It has uh, lacing and uh, grommets instead. So because there's no front busk, it does take a little bit longer to get into and out of this corset, but once it's all done up, it does feel very secure. Like I said in my last review of their Buxom Bodice, if they were to add another flat steel bone on this side of the grommets uh, so that it gave a little bit more rigidity to the front, it could prevent any bowing that might happen in the lower tummy, and it would also help protect these grommets here from um, warping or uh, damaging the fabric around them and eventually coming out. But because this is a relatively slim silhouette with um, a relatively mild uh, bust spring and hip spring, I don't wear this to very large waist reductions. So I don't uh, tight lace or waist train in this corset when I'm wearing it. So the amount of tension that I'm putting on this corset uh, is probably not enough to do damage to the grommets. So turning to the inside, because it's a little bit easier to see the bones and the boning channels from the inside here, my corset has a total of 16 bones, eight on each side, uh, and all of their courses up to size 32 have 16 bones in their corset. The larger sizes from 34 and up are double boned on these seams here, so they have a total of 24 bones. That's one of the reasons why uh, their larger sizes cost a little bit more. So. Uh, my version is single boned on the seams and you can see that it does attract my magnet. These are all um, flat steel bones except for this second bone right here, the one that uh, goes over the bust curve. They used a spiral steel bone in this area to give it a little bit more flexibility and to curve over the bust a little bit easier. So I had already shown you the grommets in the front of the corset, but there are also grommets in the back. So there are 24 in the front and 24 in the back, 12 on each side of each lacing system. And you can see that these are uh, size zero with a small to medium flange around them, finished in silver, set equidistantly apart, about an inch or actually a little bit more than an inch apart. Um, and because I wear this at a relatively gentle reduction, you can see that there's no damage around the grommets here, no damage of the uh, fabric, no pulling out. And here's the underside of the grommets. You can see that they do contain washers. They've all rolled like pretty nicely. Uh, it does catch in one or two places uh, on the laces, but it just makes the laces fuzzy. The laces haven't uh, snapped or broken at this point. And the laces themselves are uh, nylon cord. They are round cord, no stretch to them whatsoever, and they are very, very, very long. If they are too long, you can cut them to the length that you like. Just make sure you don't cut too much. Um, they are a little bit uh, slippery when holding the bow so just make sure that you're tying like a proper square knot like a, a pr and a proper bow not like a, a granny bow or anything and I'll link to a video up above to show you how to tie proper knots and bows so that they don't slip out over time. This corset dress by Pirate Fashions is available in four different colorways. The first is a blue brocade over white lining, like I'm wearing here. The second is silver and black brocade over a cream lining. The third is black brocade over red lining. And lastly, they have a gold brocade over black lining. This is made in sizes 22 inches closed waist up to 38 inches closed waist, and sizes up to 32 is $169. Sizes 34 and up are $20 more at $189 US, and the reason for the price difference is that sizes 34 and up have more bones and more boning channels distributed throughout the corset. And this concludes my review of the corset dress by Pirate Fashions. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support my channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset dress or anything else from Pirate Fashions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. If you own this corset dress or a different kind of corset dress, also feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think of it and how you wear it and style it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.